Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALV. In the previous five to six videos, we learned how to create a field catalog, how we can bind the data with the field catalog. We created the field catalog by using SAP function module. Then we binded the data with the field catalog using these two function modules. And we covered the first difference also, how your list output is and how your grid output is. Now, what we will do, rather than using SAP function module to create a field catalog, we will learn how to create a field catalog manually. Manually means with the help of coding, we will write each and every step and we will manually create a field catalog. Previously, what we did, we simply passed the structure and SAP returned the field catalog to us. But now we will not follow this. We will learn how to manually create a field catalog. Rather than changing the existing program, I will make a copy and we will replace this part in that program. I will make a copy. I will give some name to the program, copy. I will select this copy. I'll save this as a local object and I will activate the new program. Now in this new program, rather than using SAP function module to generate the field catalog, we will learn how to manually create a field catalog. And manual is always preferable because everything is in our control. Once the practical will start, you will automatically realize. We will comment this SAP function module, which is generating the field catalog. We pass the structure and SAP returned the field catalog to us. Now we will fill this field catalog internal table manually. We will write the code to fill this internal table manually. If I will see this internal table, this internal table is of this type. It's a SAP predefined type. If I will double click on this type, It is a table type. It is a table type. Inside this table type, this is the structure. This table type is referring to this structure. If I will double click on this structure, structure has again nested structure. Structure has again nested structure. And these are the columns in the structure. Row position, column position, field name, tab name. All these are columns in the structure. I will again show the navigation. This field catalog internal table is referring to this SAP standard table type. If we are writing internal table type table type. I will double click. This table type has this particular structure. This table type is referring to this structure. And we all know structure is a collection of columns. Inside this structure, we have again nested structures, two structures. I will double click. Again, nested structures, I will double click and you can see we have so many columns are there. 
we will use these properties or we will use these components or we will use these columns to fill the field catalog manually. Previously, SAP did this everything. If I will show you the program in which SAP generated the field catalog and you will automatically understand what I want to say. If I will run the previous program, which SAP generated the field catalog at that time, also I show you, I will take an input from the table. BB. Okay. So that before manually creating a field catalog, we should be very clear what we are doing. I will give some input. I'm executing the program. If I will run this function module, if I will execute this function module, you can see SAP generated the field catalog and you can see same to same columns, column position, row position, field name, tab name. If you can see these are same to same columns row position, column position, field name, tab name. After that, if you see, we have a long text, medium text, short text. If I will go here, we have a, I'll again go to nested structure. We have long text, medium text, short text. We will fill all these things manually. Previously, SAP returned this thing. We pass the structure and SAP generated the field catalog. Now we will manually fill this field catalog internal table. We'll see how to fill this field catalog internal table. I will go to back button. This is my field catalog internal table. I will declare a work area for field catalog type. We know this field catalog table type. This table type has this structure. I will copy this structure. So work area type my structure. And this structure has the various columns, column position, row position, tab name. I will fill all these properties and we will manually create a field catalog. How to do that? I will go for the properties one by one. For the best understanding, I will open the program in a new session and we will check the components and we will fill those components. Firstly, we will start with column position. So I will write ls underscore field cat hyphen column position call underscore pause. Suppose my first column position I am giving one. ls underscore field cat hyphen. Now I will give the field name. What is my first column which I want to display is VBELN. work area. Now I will pass the name of the internal table. So I will use tab name. What is my internal table name, which has the data of both the tables, LT underscore final. Now LS underscore field cat. Now I will give the label label. 
Suppose I will only give the long label. So I will choose this property. And I will give the long label, suppose sales document number. Now the first proper first values we moved to work area. Now we will append it to field catalog internal table. I will clear the work area because after every append, you should clear the work area. So our first, first part, our, our first column of the field catalog is ready. Now I will go for rest of the columns. What is my second column? My second column is ER dat. ER dat is creation date. Now I will go for third column of the field catalog. Third column is ERZET. Suppose ERZET is time. Now I will go for fourth column. ER num. ER num is name. Fourth. Now I will go for fifth column. Fifth column is BB type. That is my category, document category. Now I will go for sixth column. Sixth column is post now. And post now is item number. Now we will go for seventh column. Seventh column is Matena. That is our material number. So we manually prepared a field catalog of seven columns. You can simply compare. We used column position, field name, tab name, long text. SAP also used these properties to generate the field catalog. If I will show you, this is which SAP generated. And we used same to same columns to manually generate a field catalog. I will check the syntax and activate the program. So now in the next video, we will see in the debugging mode how SAP is generating the field catalog manually and how we are getting the output. That's it in this video. Thank you.